Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon and good evening. In this part 3 of Oracle HTTP OHS server, we will see how we can do the installation of uh, OHS in co-located mode. In part 1 and part 2, we have done a lot of discussion on about the co-located mode and standalone mode. What is the difference between co-located and standalone mode? But in case if you have missed that one, okay, so uh, so, so now from 20 onward, this watch has come in two mode. One is standalone and second is co-located. So when we talk about the standalone mode, for that, you don't need to install the fusion middleware infrastructure. Okay, this is a standalone mode. So you can install it in a standalone way. Okay, and when we go for the installation of OHS in co-located mode, for that, you have a prerequisite that you have to install your Oracle fusion middleware infrastructure, which is another version of uh, logic, which comes with the GRF and then uh, EM tool for the centralized management of your all the middleware products from a central location. Okay, that is a prerequisite for the co-located mode. Okay, and in this video, we will see how do we can install the uh, our OHS in co-located mode. That means before going for the installation, we have to make sure that we have installed the Oracle Fusion Middleware Infrastructure in the same Oracle home, which we are going to use for the OHS. Now, as I said, this is a prerequisite for the OHS in co-located mode, where you have to install your Fusion Middleware Infrastructure first, which you can download from the idelivery.oracle.com. Okay, so because we are installing the OHS 12.2.1.4, so make sure to download the Oracle Fusion Middleware Infrastructure 12.1.2.4, okay, for the compatibility. And once you downloaded that one, install that inside the C colon Oracle OHS 12CC co-located folder in the Windows. This is in my case, but as according to your operating system or feasibility, you can create any directory structure for the installation. But this is a prerequisite for installation of your OHS in co-located mode. And this is the name of the software for the OHS from the Oracle, which you can download from edelivery.oracle.com. And then for Windows, you will see the software with the extension .exe. And for Unix-based systems, you will see the software with the extension .bin. Okay. So for Windows, you can directly double click on this one to start the installer or the software. And when you are on Unix-based operating system, then you can start the installer with the help of dot forward slash and the name of your installer. Now, this is the first welcome screen when you will start your wizard and then you will see the auto update option, which you can skip and click on next. After that one, it will prompt you for to select the Oracle home location and make sure to select the same Oracle home where you have installed your Oracle within middle where infrastructure which I, as I said, which is the prerequisite for your OHS co-located mode. Okay. And in screenshot, you can see the folders that is there inside my Oracle home. Okay, so I have selected the same. Next, you have to select the mode. So now we are installing in co-located mode. So I have selected the co-located. And one more mode is there, which is standalone, which you can select when you are going for the installation in standalone mode. But in that case, you don't need the installation of Fusion Middleware infrastructure. Okay. And by chance, if you will click on standalone mode, then it will give you an incompatibility error because you already have your Fusion Middleware infrastructure inside your Oracle home. So it will give you this error okay as i said because when you're installing in standalone mode your oracle home has to be clean there's nothing to be there inside that one okay and this is only required when you are selecting in co-located mode so make sure select the co-located http server mode after that you have to select a certified java and then it will show you the certification metrics process okay and in this case because my operating system is not certified with this particular ohs version so i can ignore this one for testing environment but for production it is not recommended to ignore such warnings you always have to go with the certified operating systems and other parameters and then it will show you all the components that it is going to install inside your oracle home for ohs and but it, once it is done it will show you the progress as 100 percent done and then when all tick marks are green that means your ohs is successfully installed this is all about this video and in next one we will see how we can create the domain and then how we can manage and stand alone uh, co-located ohs domain with the help of command lines and also with the help of centralized em tool which is also called the fission middleware control thanks for watching this video and stay tuned for a few more interesting videos